The world loves to eat fish. In the 1960s, the average person consumed almost 10 kilos per year. Now, it's over 20 kilos. Three billion people depend on seafood for protein, and communities worldwide rely on the industry for their livelihoods. Over 60 million people are directly employed in the fisheries and agriculture industry. And over half of these jobs are in the wild capture fisheries. But the global population is rising. And our oceans are under growing pressure from climate change, pollution and overfishing. According to the United Nations, we're heading to a population of 10 billion people by 2050. There is talk of the demand of seafood doubling. If we want to feed the world without harming our oceans, we have to fish sustainably. This means leaving enough fish in the sea and managing the impacts of fishing carefully so habitats and ecosystems are protected. Progress in sustainable fishing has been made, but there's still a long way to go. And if we fail, the future looks bleak. So what is overfishing? And why is it a problem? It's caused when too many fish are caught and not enough are left to reproduce and sustain a healthy population. This can lead to the collapse of entire stocks, which may take decades to recover. Pues yo creo que es más importante cuidarlo porque si no lo acabamos, pues no vamos a de qué vamos a vivir más adelante. Ya pues la pesca aquí es la el sustento de todo el pueblo casi porque hay muchas familias que no tienen Otra forma de donde sostenerse. But despite knowing the risks, overfishing is rising. In the 1970s, just 10% of stocks monitored by the United Nations were overfished. Now, it's more than a third. Efforts are being made to prevent overfishing. And crucial to this is good fisheries management. This involves gathering data to work out how many fish can be caught without harming future populations, adopting quotas, and enforcing catch restrictions if populations begin to decline. Fish stocks that have scientifically based assessment and management in place, their biomass has been growing from about the turn of the century, from about the year 2000 onwards. This is Manuel Baranje, director of the Fisheries and Aquaculture Division of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. Management is the solution. When applied properly, fisheries management works. But if you do not have fisheries management in place, then you see a deterioration um, of the sustainability. And we can see that it's working. More of the fish we eat is coming from well-managed, sustainably fished stocks, typically larger, high-volume fisheries, such as skipjack tuna and pollock. We don't need to choose between protecting our oceans and feeding the planet. If we fish sustainably, we can do both. Fisheries will continue for as long as there is fish in the water. So management is an obligation on all of us as a society to recognize you cannot stop people near the coast to feed themselves using the resources that they have, but you can help them to manage them properly. And that should be our ultimate goal.